Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back another kicking graphic novel review. We have a good trade for you guys today. This one actually is a graphic novel. And not a tra <laughs> You know what I mean. Uh, it is Green Lantern Earth One Volume One. Yeah, I've been waiting for this to come out. I really liked Earth One Batman. I only read Volume One of that. But you guys know Green Lantern, Hal Jordan is my favorite superhero of all time. Uh, creative team of Gabriel Hardman. Corina Becco and Jordan Boyd. I'm not super familiar with any of them, but they did some good work. I'm going to read you the back cover here. An all-new adventure awaits Hal Jordan. If he survives. Sorry. Hal Jordan yearns for the thrill of discovery. But the days when astronaut and adventure were synonymous are long gone. His gig prospecting asteroids for Ferris Galactic is less than fulfilling. But at least he's not on Earth, where technology and culture have stagnated. When Jordan finds a powerful ring, he also finds a destiny to live up to. There are worlds beyond his own, unlike anything he ever imagined. But revelation comes with a price. The Green Lantern Corps has fallen, wiped out by the ruthless killing machines known as Manhunters. Ooh. The odds against reinstating the core are nearly impossible, but doing the impossible is exactly what Hal Jordan was trained for in the newest installment of the hit Earth-1 original graphic novel line creator Gabriel Hardman and Corina Belko uh, reimagine Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps in this modern sci-fi epic. This runs for about 25 bucks in America uh, because it's hardcover. Uh... By the time Volume 2 comes out, if and when Volume 2 comes out, they'll probably release a paperback for you, or you can read it digital. You know, it's all it's all your choice. But uh, the artwork in this is really cool. I really dig this art. It's, um... The beginning of it kind of feels like Alien, almost. It's not in a horror way, but in, like, an aesthetic way. Uh, it's just really nice art. Uh, everything kind of has a lack of color. So the green from the Green Lanterns really pops. It's really nice, because everything else is basically, uh, like, dingy color-wise. But it's also a universe ruled by the tyranny of the Manhunters, who were created by the Guardians of Oa and seemingly destroyed them. And there seems to be one Guardian left who goes unnamed. I'm going to guess Krona, because he said he created the rings. Um, and also because it shows him starting a Yellow Lantern Corps at the end of the book. Uh, spoilers! <laughs> but at the beginning, Hal Jordan's mining asteroids. He doesn't want to go back to Earth. He's saying there's nothing left on Earth for him, which is kind of similar to a regular Hal Jordan, except he goes back to Earth. Finds Abensur's ship on the asteroid, and the ring doesn't choose him. Apparently, the rings in this universe can just be picked up by anyone and used by anyone, basically. Uh, but yeah, uh, one of his crew members, Volkov, tries to use it, Accidentally kills himself, blows up the ship they're in. Jordan uses it to survive, but then an ancient manhunter uh, detects the energy, reawakens. Jordan beats it because it was a rust bucket. Uh, and then he finds himself on Kilowog's planet. Kilowog picked up a distress signal from his ring, goes to help him out, and apparently the rings can barely stay charged. After you charge him with a lantern, the lantern has to like wait a day to recharge itself because the power battery has been quote-unquote destroyed but later we found out the power battery wasn't destroyed because it can't be it was actually covered in a shield to keep the energy from going out uh, because the main hunters couldn't destroy it not without destroying themselves anyways uh, but you kill planets full of xenophobes but at least he has a planet in this continuity am I right <laughs> kill the last of his kind in Prime Earth, or Earth Zero, or whatever you want to call the Earth that we normally follow. But Jahal is taken prisoner and enslaved by the Manhunters, can't charge his ring until he finds out about the shield. He puts a hole in the shield so he can charge his ring, becomes the first fully charged Green Lantern in a long time. After, this is all happening after he and Kilowog go on a search for other Lanterns to help free Kilowog's planet from the Manhunters. But, uh, yeah, so he gets all the Green Lanterns together after he sends out a message saying that the Lantern is active, uh, and then the Guardian tells him that, who I believe to be Krona, once again, tells him that, uh, they can use the Lantern to destroy the Manhunters, but it'll also kill all the slaves on the planet. But they decide not to do that. They use a physicist's plan to redirect the energy, a physicist Green Lantern, um, 
Maurice is in this book. Pretty cool. She's a badass in this book. And becomes the leader of the Green Lantern Corps at the end. Uh, and they decide to use their powers for peace and stay connected. Uh, and then Jordan goes back to Earth for a little bit at the end. Uh, to use his ring to help people. But uh, I really like the look for how Jordan in this. Because all the Green Lantern ring does, it doesn't give you a suit in this, right? It's whatever you're wearing, but you get a glowing green aura, the ring itself, and a Green Lantern symbol on your chest. So he just has his fucking space suit on with the Green Lantern ring and everything, and it looks really good. It's a really nicely done book. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I really have been wanting to read Earth 1 Superman as well, and I think this pushed me past that point. So I'm definitely going to pick up Earth 1 Superman if I can. I'll probably go back to the bookstore tomorrow. I got this from my Barnes & Noble that I go to, but right now I'm on vacation. As you can see, I'm in my family's condo right now. So I'll swing by there. Um, books a million they have here and see what else they got there's more green lantern stuff i wanted to pick up here anyways so that's it thank you all very much for your support remember to write comment and subscribe check out all the links in the description below facebook twitter etc if you want to see me review single issues of comics i review them in the haul videos i pick them up in so check out my comic book haul videos on my b3 productions channel aka my second channel uh link in the description below so that's it thank you all once again and i'll see you all later